Hey guys, this is Franklin. In this video, I'm going to talk about curve tools. You can find the curve tools from the standard toolbar here. And also you can find it in the panel here, curve tools. Let's maximize this top view you now. Let's see the important functions from the curve tools here. Okay, here we have fillet curves. Let's draw a rectangle first. Using fillet curves, we can round the edges of two curves. Just click on this fillet curve. You can give the radius here. Uh, let me change to 3. And now select the first curve and the second curve to fillet. It will create a rounded edge in the corner of the rectangle. Now the arc has 3 meter radius, which we give the value. Let's do it again. Just click on this and you have to give the radius. Now I'm going to change this into 6. And you can check this here. If you wanted to join this all the curves after finishing the fillet, you have to make this yes or else you can click just no. Now if we make the fillet, it will be a separate curve from that. Next we have the chamber curves. This is similar to fillet but the difference is in chamber curves it will have a straight line instead of this arc. Let me show you just you can specify the distance here. Let's type 5 enter and 5 enter. What the distance means is it will take the 5 meter from here and 5 meter from here. If you wanted to change the different length you have to change here like just type 3 comma sorry 3 enter then 6 enter now select the first curve and the second curve it will create a straight line 3 meter from here and 6 meter from here if you wanted to have a equal length then you have to change the distance into the same value like 5 enter 5 enter now if you do it will have the same distance from each side and this is how the chamfer and fillet curves will work okay let's move on to the next one it's connect let's draw some lines by using connect we can connect the lines like this and here we have fillet corners using fillet corners we can fillet all the corners of a polygon or a polyline let me show you let's draw a polygon i'm gonna use this star now if you use this fillet curve just select the fillet curve tool and it will ask select the poly curves just click on the polygon and press enter then you have to give the radius which i'm gonna give to or uh, maybe one it will fillet all the corners in a polygon or a polyline this will help most in the part when we create a 3d model let me show you again let's now <sighs> Okay, this time let's draw a rectangle and then just click on this flat corners and select the poly curve and press enter. And now you have to give the radius. Now this time I'm gonna give 5 or in enter. All the corners are filleted to the 10 meter radius. And now here we have adjustable curve blend. Let's click on this. Let's select the curve blend. Using this tool, we can adjust the curve with the control points. This will have this little pop-up box. You can you can do like this to control your curves, or else you can also manipulate by these control points. And also in the curve tools, we have control points. By clicking this, we can turn on the control points of the selected object. 
and shortcut to turn on the control points is F10. Just press F10 and select the object. It will turn on the control points. If you wanted to turn off the control points, the shortcut is F11. Okay, and another one of the most important tool from the curve tool is offset curve. Here it is. Or else you can type offset here by using this command we can offset the curve with a certain distance you can specify the distance by here let's say i'm gonna give five enter then it will create a offset line with a five meter distance and you can check this now it is five meters just type offset then you have to change the radius sorry distance here let's say 2 again and then click on the curve which you which you wanted to create an offset this is the most useful command in the curve tools and if you want to offset curve in both sides just type offset curve then you have to click this both sides if you select the curve now let me show in in this curve just type offset click on this both sides and change the distance to one meter if you select the curve now it will create an offset in both sides like this And also if you want to do a multiple offsets just type offset multiple here you can specify the distance let me okay i'll give 0.5 and in the offset count you have to specify a number how many times you want to offset i'll give five then select the curve and press enter and now you have to select the side of offset which side you want to offset let's say i'm gonna give this one it will create a five offset lines with a distance of 0.5 meters let's type offset multiple and let's change the distance to 2 meters and the count to 10 and select the curve enter and the side it will create uh, 10 offset lines with the distance of 10 2 meters and here this is one of my favorite command in the curve tools is curve boolean let me show you how it's work let's draw some curves let's say just create an outdoor steps You know, I wanted to create a steps in this shapes. There are so many ways to do this, but this is my favorite method. In order to create a steps, we need to create an individual surface in these shapes. In that case, we are gonna use this curve boolean. Just click on this curve boolean. First, you need to select all the curves and enter. Now we have to select the regions. Let's select this and press enter. It will create a closed polyline of the selected region. 
now do the same for the other three steps just select all the curves and click this curve boolean tool now select the region and press enter do the same again okay now we have a closed polyline of this each steps let's go to the perspective view now select the closed curve and create a planar surface and do the same for the all the closed curves now we have the surface and just extrude this using extrude command extrude surface now just give some random values and then move it like this to create steps okay that's it for today guys i'll see you on the next video